Out. Smith, the offensive rebound, there you counted go. and a foul. Long rebounds on a missed three, which was a good shot there at Christian Jones, and that's what Josh Smith has done and brought to this team, rebounding. If you want to get some possessions, extra possessions, go eat some glass. While he has been struggling to score lately, his rebounding has been top-notch. He's the team leader at nearly six per game, only playing 22 minutes a night. And he sinks the three-point play. I don't know, that pass from Swenson felt like it deserved three points. Yes, the possession yes it was a great, great pass. Ends with three points. And the other thing about Rain Smith that we don't talk about, that he can pass the basketball as well. Very an adept passer. Tumbling using those long arms to poke that one away That's from Farrar. Farrar Raw just mishandled it and credit Tumbling with being active. So the Hatter's in a 2-3 zone on that possession. Jones just blows by Smith, plays Beautiful. it in. Beautiful. It's a 7-0 run for Stetson to get right back in the game. He's a handful right now for the Cougars. The Cougars, no help side defense. Ball dropped by Farrar. It'll bounce to Tucker. He's just going to pull up. Misses short, rebound Tumblin. And a good box out by Tumblin. That's, that's a quick shot, and that's what the Cougars do, but that may not be the guy you want to take that shot. Even though know. he's a capable he's shooting shooter. He's 54% yes. from three coming into the game, 21 out of 39. Jones, so oh, no travel called, and Smith puts it in to give the Hatters the lead. Surprised they didn't get Jones for a step there. It looked like he slipped a little bit. Everyone in the building expected the call. It didn't come. Smith capitalizes, yes. and now an offensive foul as Swenson draws the charge on Underwood, and it is all Stetson right now. Well, you talk, we talked about Aussie Smart being a grown man. <laughs> Underwood is another one of those guys. Demetrius Underwood, 6'4", 215. He just warded off with that right hand, and he's the guy that's leading the team in rebounding. And uh, a Division three All-American. So he's a guy that's that other piece of the puzzle for this team, a veteran performer. And like you mentioned, a grad transfer from Mesquite, Texas, who leads the team in rebounds, assists, and steals. One of the nation's leaders at 2.3 steals a game. Does it all. You know, that's just a guy that just whatever the team needs, ever ready, man. That was a popular song there by Lakeside. Uh, RB, one of my favorite RB booster. He's an ever ready man. I mean, he can do it all. There's Ali poking it away from Jones, but he's got it back. Plenty of time on the shot clock. Yeah, Ali is another one of those transfers. Took advantage of the quarter from Radford and was. Big South all-freshman team, but wanted to change of scenery. Coach Kelsey familiar with him from being mm -hmm. in the same conference. Smith needs to put it up. Didn't have much of a chance there. Now Horton. They're trying to get it to Smith on the <laughs> perimeter. And the Hatters are just you, not leaving him alone. You, you could bet when that scouting report was done, his name was circled a few times. Ali Gattarizzi with a recovery block. That's what you and I like about Gattarizzi, that lift and that ability. Stolen by Horton. Panzo couldn't feed Valdez, and Horton fouled as he went up for something a little bit more spectacular, perhaps, than what the moment called for. Well, that's a great steal by Horton, but not concentrating enough. He was worried about the defender. Could have easily been a three-point play, but he's going to go to the line. He'll shoot two when we come back. Hatter's on a 9-0 run here. The ancient Greeks had four words for love. The most admirable is called agape. Love as an action. For 175 years, New York life has been helping people act okay. on their love. So they can look back or look ahead and say, we got it right. We did good. Meet Tempo, the home gym with a built-in personal trainer. Tempo helps you maximize every workout with custom plans and real-time feedback on your form. Get ready to discover what you're truly capable of. Tempo, find your strength. The holiday.
holidays are in full swing and you can feel the magic in the air. Especially at T-Mobile. Let's go to Diane. Can you tell us what's happening? Yeah, I got the awesome new iPhone 13 Pro and AirPods and T-Mobile's paying for them both. Oh, and I get a free year of Apple TV Plus. <laughs> Upgrade to the iPhone 13 Pro and AirPods both on us, only at T-Mobile. And this is for new and existing T-Mobile and Sprint customers like me. Back to you. Uh, hey. Hello? Uh, hello? We're going to T-Mobile. Target makes last-minute gifting easier. Shop with same-day delivery, free order pickup, or free drive-up, and leave with your list wrapped up. Order today, get it today at Target. Welcome back to the Edmonds Center. Folks here to see the Hatters take on the College of Charleston. Cougars got off to a good start, but then the Hatters flipped the script about five minutes into the game. They're on a 9-0 run here with 11.30 to go in the first half. Raquan Horton of Charleston is going to the line to shoot two. Evan Weston, Greg Turner. Hope you're having a pleasant evening. Run up to the Christmas holidays. And it's been all about defense for the Hatters. That's how they've taken the lead. You know, they've been playing some good uh, uh, communications and help side defense, coming up with some big steals, some charges drawn. A 2-3 zone seems to have stymied Charleston a little bit. Horton goes one out of two, and we are tied at 14. Horton shot his average 50% for the year, but he has come in and giving the Cougars a spark. Yeah, he's got some real explosiveness, doesn't he? True freshman. Johnston back in for the Hatters. Valdez, the backup point guard to Gattarizzi. Handoff, Valdez running out of room. Gattarizzi comes up with it. Got to go up. It's blocked by Lampton. Yeah, just got to shoot that. You can't do too much. You know, he's not that, has that strength just yet. Smith way off with that one. Horton saves it right to Smith. Hatters will have numbers. Valdez running the break. Valdez takes it himself. Lampton goaltending. That'll count for Giancarlo Valdez. That's going to do a world of good for the confidence of that young man. He saw Chase Johnston in the corner of his eye on the left wing calling for it. But you and I like to see that. If you have an opportunity to make that layup, I'd rather make a two-footer than a 26-footer, even though Chase Johnston is more than capable of making it. Get a chance to get make a bucket, make it. Underwood bringing it up the floor for the Cougars. It's, the Hatters are kind of in a zone man to man. And Horton Boy, makes Horton his is, first college three. Yes, he was, he was what? 0 for, 0 for 14. 0 for 14. Coming, coming into in. the night, he's got eight points out of the 17 for Charleston. He averages one point a game. Yes, I mean, he's he's going to double up that average tonight. And he, he I don't know, he's four. shooting worse than Anthony Davis for the <laughs> Lakers. I mean, <laughs> three-point line. He had, he had made four field goals all year coming into tonight. He's made three in the first 10 minutes of this game. And then Panzo misses on the other end. Five oh, back in. Some steps there for five. To Lampton. Yeah, I think blocked. Two Panzo. people blocked it. <laughs> Panzo and Gatorizzi were around there. Lampton really had no chance. Johnston fouled on the three. A silly foul by Lampton. And Johnston felt his presence and let it happen. And Chase Johnston will shoot three free throws. Lampton's hand got caught in the cookie jar and just looked too inviting not to take a swipe at, at Chase Johnson. I mean, he was running up the floor. Chase was trailing the play and getting ready to jack up a three, which he's very capable of making. He just got his hand in there and touched him right on the wrist. It's a big foul. You know, it's a cardinal sin. You know, coaches from all levels, starting at high school, do not foul the jump shooter 30 feet from the basket. Chase. Johnson misses the second. He had made all three of his free throw attempts this year. Got to the line a little bit more last year when he was driving a lot more. This year he's really stayed more on the perimeter. I wonder, though, if with Perry's absence, it may force Chase Johnston to it's penetrate going, a little bit more. He's going to have to, Evan Jack. Absolutely right. You have only, to 
manufacture points. Turned out to be a good foul for Lampton. As it did. Johnson goes one out, one out, of, three. out of three. Not often you'll see no, that. No, for an 80 plus free throw shooter. Yeah. Smart just gets a little contact from Gattarizzi. It was close. And, and there is the value of Demetrius Underwood. He can do so many things. He created that. He made a nice spin move, and then he was able to dump it off to the big fella, Ossie Smart, 6'8", 240. Ossie Smart averaging four points and five and a half rebounds in 14 minutes a game. He misses the first free throw. Has not made a free throw this year. You mentioned he gets his money's worth for his fouls, too. He <laughs> had to be hooked after two minutes for picking up two personals. Mm -hmm. But he's the enforcer. The second one falls in. Mohamedou Jawara will come back in to deal with him. Alex Crawford comes on for Stetson as well. Under the halfway mark for the Hatters and the Cougars here early on, and the Hatters Let's see if they can run something with some continuity because now, you know, you don't have Super Rob Perry uh, and you need someone to be able to score the basketball when the shot clock's winding down. That's going to be that Christian Jones, but he's not in the game right now. So Valdez has his pocket picked. Tucker lays it in. And Tucker grimaced a little. But he just picked the pocket, and that's what we've talked about. You know, you heard me say it over and over about Giancarlo Valdez. I like him, but he has to be tighter with his handle. Neither Johnston nor Smith, the sharpshooters, very accurate so far. He almost turned the ball over there. Oh, the steps, steps. Jawara forcing that turnover out of Babakar Thai. Robert Carr 5, if you take a look at that young man, he reminds you of a, I'm, I'm going to go out on a limb here, <laughs> young version of a Bo Outlaw. Remember, Bo Outlaw was long, lengthy, active, you know, and he, no disrespect to Bo Outlaw, but this guy may be a little ahead offensively at this stage, but Bo Outlaw made a 14-year NBA career of being a tenacious hustler and defender and active. That's who Bubba Car Fire reminds me of. Johnston. Now Swenson penetrating. Johnston loses a handle on it. Jawara, look Good at hustle. Muhammad or Jawara win it back for the Hatters. But some of those layers, point bank range, you gotta take it. Jones makes it all worthwhile for the big man. <laughs> Christian Jones. How does that have to feel for a guy in Jawara who has struggled yes. with his confidence and been up and down? You make a hustle play like that, and your team gets rewarded with a three. I mean, it's just beautiful because there's so many other ways you can affect the basketball game. It's not just scoring. It's hustling. Oh, that is yeah, unfortunate unforced. there for the Hatters. Johnson. Johnson and Swenson, who have such great chemistry, high school teammates not connecting on that pass. But Jawara... Helping out the Hatters with that steal. Jones drains the three. We are tied at 20. Just a little under eight minutes to play in the first half. Got a good one going. Proud
At Watson Realty, we continue to make selling your home easier and safer than ever. Simply contact a Watson Realtor to discuss your goals and determine your home's value. Then we'll market to ideal buyers and arrange for tours that match everyone's comfort level. Best of all, though we've adapted our methods to a new environment, we still offer legendary service and get your home sold. Sell the Watson way. Simple, safe, sold. Christian Jones, we wondered if he would step up with the absence of Rob Perry, who is ineligible indefinitely, came and come out today. And Jones has certainly stepped up here in this first half, Greg Turner. El Fuego. But he's one of those guys that throughout his career, when he starts out early, playing well, he plays well the rest of the game. He's one of those guys that has to be engaged initially. So when he hits his first few points, buckets, look out. He's got the Hatters locked up in a good one with the College of Charleston, who will be expected to contend for the CAA title this year. Looking very dangerous under first-year head coach Pat Kelsey. Rain Smith, deep triple off the back iron. Johnston, one more to Jones. He's feeling it tonight. Misses that one, and a good rebound by Farrar. Not a bad shot. Not a bad shot for the Hatters. Farrar, little runner is good. Farrar has four. One of two lefties in the lineup, and you talked about Meeks, who's injured. I mean, he's another lefty. There's three lefties, and it would have been in there starting five for the Cougars. And we've talked about that, Evan. We've seen a whole lot of left-handed players this year in college basketball. That just seems to be the selection of opponents. There's Jawara going to his right hand. He misses that one, goes to the floor hard, but he couldn't keep it in play. Great hustle there. Jawara just trying to keep it alive. He missed the nice spin move. I thought he was going to use the left hand there. He's used that this season. That's something that he's worked on. That would have been a great opportunity to use it there, but I like what I see in terms of getting him the basketball down there and let him operate. He has to be in a position to score. You can't get him the basketball to him at the top of the key, the free throw line extended. It has to be right around that block. Ali for three. That's no good. Charleston just two of nine from beyond the arc tonight. Tucker loses it. Burnham bails him out. Burnham is in. Tumbling with a huge block. You're talking Alvin Tumbling. Great hustle. Great hustle. He's a pogo stick. And then there's the tie-up. Are we basketball or are we playing Twister? <laughs> what do you think Tumbling's best role is? Because it seems like he... He's got a prototypical wing body, but does he maybe play a little bigger on this roster? I like him at the top of the key. I mean, in the free throw line area, you know, I would use him uh, on the elbows. That's where I would start him, or the short corner, you know, because he's very quick, too. He can beat someone off the dribble, but he has to just be quick, but don't hurry, as John Wooden would often say. So sometimes he gets ahead of himself, but he's a very explosive athlete. Smith. 
Misses the long three. He's one out of four. He's pressing. You know, he's, he's pressing, but shooters are going to keep shooting. And the Hatters have not had let him take an open look. They've contested just about every three-point shot that he has attempted. Johnston, step back, triple. Go! Oh. oh, that is beautiful. Johnston's first three of the night. A la Larry Bird, a nice step back. Hatters back in the lead. This has been a good competitive first half. Jawara tied up with Burnham. It's going the other way. And this is really a something from this team. From Jawara to Jones, some of the young guys stepping up. It seems that they've taken the absence of Rob Perry on their shoulders. I think we're seeing a lot more collective hustle yeah. and winning plays from this Hatters team so far. You have to because, you know, Rob Perry did so much for your team. Um, you know, not only score the basketball, assist, the best free throw shooter. So everyone knows you cannot relax for those things that you once had as a luxury. Somebody else has to do it. So we're going to do it collectively. Credit to Hatters for stepping up as a team. The Johnston. Cougars, the Cougars have stayed in that man-to-man, -man, Evan, all this first half, and that's what they like to do. Jones a three. Off the back iron. Didn't miss it by much. And now rebounded, and Underwood taking it up the floor. Horton, he's one out of one. Uh, his streak ends but, right there. Yeah, we can see why you're one out of 14. So <laughs> it's a decent-looking shot, but it is something about that. When I looked at the release of it, he kind of rolls the basketball. So... I know the coaching staff says, come on, rack one, just take it to the basket. Swenson into Jawara. They Bang got out. ripped and out, and <laughs> Jawara bangs it home. Big fella. Oh. Now, we've seen way worse hanging on the rim than yeah, that. Yeah, they tee up Jawara. And, and I, I don't know about that. Very petty right there. Now, his teammates are happy about it. Big Mo, bang out. Hatters in the lead. Vivid Seats, your ticket get penalty kills, fourth quarter buzzer beaters, and 57 yard game winners. Buy tickets, earn rewards with Vivid Seats. Life happens live. This is your home. This is your family room, slash gym. The guest bedroom slash music studio. The day bed slash dog bed. The living room slash yoga shanti slash regional office. How did you guys do it? Slash classroom. And this is the basement slash panic room. Maybe what your family needs is a vacation home slash vacation home. Find yours on the Verbo app. Say you're looking for the perfect present you might try looking at the perfect place. A place with gifts that light up a face as well as a room. Where it's easy to find the brands they'll love and the advice you trust. That place isn't a warehouse store. That place is your local Ace. Around the block, what you need in stock with people who know their gifts. This Christmas, wrap it in red at Ace and get free assembly and delivery on grills. Ace is the place with the helpful hardware, folks. A mountain of toys to fulfill many wishes must be carried across all roads and all bridges. It's not magic that makes more holiday deliveries to homes in the U.S. than anyone else. It's the hardworking people of the United States Postal Service. Just at first, I didn't think it was a warranted or technical foul, but the motion, the jerking motion with the body, and the officials thought it was prolonged. He said he just kept hanging, so they had to give him a take. But that's, you know, and in college basketball, remember, technical foul is also a foul. So you have to be careful here. And uh, Bajawara is trying to not only fire the team up, but fire himself up. Big fella. A technical free throw made by Tucker. Cohen came in only as a 
free throw shooter, but he drains it to carve the impact of Juarez dunk in half. It's a two-point game. And here's that danger zone moment for both teams. Underwood misses the lay-in, rebounded by Jones. Trying to push the tempo. Charleston racing back on defense. Jones pulls up from three. That's no good. Knocked out of bounds by uh, Josh Smith. A little quick. I like the idea, but a little quick. You know, he got it ahead. Christian Jones did to Valdez. Valdez went as far as he can go. Threw it back out to Christian Jones. That may have been an opportunity to kind of run a, a set play there. Underwood harassed the whole way by Tazos Cook. Jordan Seachin has come into the game. Grads transfer from Bucknell along with John Meeks. Mm -hmm. Came over together. Now a thud off the back iron from Tucker. Both teams shot selection probably not the best. Uh, uh, we're looking at the coaches. When, Charleston, when <laughs> Charleston, Greg can't buy a three right now. They're two out of 12. A lot of hand checking going on for both teams. And let's see if the officials may clean that up a little. Jones pull up mid-range jumper. That's no good. So Jones, after that hot start, has missed four shots in a row. He does seem to be trying to take on more of an offensive responsibility. At that time, he had a smaller opponent on him, and he had it, all he had to do was just take his time. He could have gotten inside the lane a little closer, maybe a pump fake, because that's one thing. When a smaller guy is checking you, they don't think that you're going to pump fake, and they jump out of the gym, and you could draw a Underwood foul. went for the steal. Jones gets position inside, and Smith drops it through the cup. This has been a nice night for Smith with seven points. A year ago, he would have missed that. But he's stronger. He was able to take that bump and make it. We have a foul here on Valdez. And that's two on Giancarlo. Well, we talked about the Cougars, and they go 12 deep in regards to minutes played and double figures minutes. The Hatters are playing a lot of individuals themselves, and they have a, a lot of talent over there on the bench as well. Charleston finally takes a breath. Underwood trying to work his way to the cup. Big rebound from Fye going to the ground. Talked about his athleticism and his activity. Did that not look like Bo Outlaw? Underneath, blocked by Jones. You, you and don't, then no, Jones no. throws it into the concourse. Oh, now that's not a smart play for a fifth-year guy. And really, Tumlin was running to the three-point line, and he threw it as if he were going to the basket. Seen a couple sloppy turnovers in yeah. transition from the Stetson team. 15 years ago, he would have been running towards the basket, but he should be running. And I still think he should, but he was running to the three-point line. Use it or lose it. Timeout here from the College of Charleston with a minute to go in what's been a very competitive first half. Stats pretty similar across the board for both teams. There has not been a whole lot separating them so far. No, both teams are, are doing exactly what they really want to do, and I think that zone defense has surprised the Cougars a bit that Stetson Hatters have been in, and, and they've been very active in it. So you see the last trips down, the Cougars have tried to run some screens for the top guys, you know, the top defenders in that 2-3 zone, matchup zone. But this is an important 61 seconds for both of these teams. The Charleston ball trailing by two. Each team has already led five times in this game. Exciting basketball game. That's 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 
what college basketball is all about. Moving yeah. screen by five. And I just talked about them trying to set that screen on those top defenders, and that time, there is the foul. You have to be set, and again, I often talk about the guy with the basketball. You have to wait until that screen comes, Evan. You know, you can't just take off and the guy's coming to screen for you. You put him in a no-win situation. And that's what happened on that series for the Cougars. Hatters will now take their use it or lose it timeout. Both teams have played 11 guys here in this first half. Only two guys have played more than 13 minutes. That's Christian Jones and Brain Smith. So nobody should be tired <laughs> come that second half. But they have been 11 athletes on the floor, as you mentioned, for both teams, but they've been 11 meaningful minutes, I think, for all of those athletes. You know, they've come in and they've contributed in some way. Take a look at the history between these two teams. They used to play quite often at 21 times. Patters won seven of the first nine. Charleston has won 12 straight. Their last meeting coming all the way back in 2002. And Charleston barely pulled one out. Similar programs, similar universities. It's two for one. Swenson yeah. went for it and got fouled. The two for one has become popular. They think, oh, they're going to call goaltending, so give the bucket to Stefan Swenson instead. His first two points. And a the great take. Youngster out of Brussels, Belgium. Mm -hmm. Great take by uh, Swenson. And that's what you and I want to see him do. Lay the ball up when you get inside. And you cannot pin the basketball up on the backboard. That is goaltending. Ali spins off Swenson, who was flying at him. Now Burnham, they get it open to Smith. And he just can't buy one. The whole team can't. That one goes off Smith. It's Hatter ball with the shot clock off. Smith is one out of five. The team in general is two for 13 from behind the arc. They average nine and a half threes a game on 36 and a half percent. Again, Evan, it's about possessions for them. You know, they're going to go into those uh, slumps of shooting the basketball and they are going to they're going to turn the basketball over You know if you have 80 plus possessions a game those things are going to happen But that's why he plays so many individuals and they play so hard to try to get more possessions To capitalize on it and for those misses final play of the first half Swenson to Jones Jones working on Horton Jones pulls up at the free throw line in and out Smith gets it off It's no good and the half will come to a close Great shots for the Hatters, but you could not convert. Hatters will take a four-point lead into the break. Really great first half of college basketball. We'll break it all down for you when we come back to the Edmonds Center. Sets at 31, College of Charleston 27. A place with gifts that light up a face as well as a room where it's easy to find the brands they'll love and the advice you trust. That place isn't a warehouse store. That place is your local Ace. Around the block, what you need in stock with people who know their gifts. Your local Ace has great gifts. Order online and get free delivery or curbside pickup. Ace is the place with the helpful hardware, folks. I just got my cash back match. Is this for real? Yep. We match all the cash back new card members earn at the end of their first year automatically. Woo, I got my money. Sorry to contain yourself, isn't it? Uh huh. Well, let it go. Woo. Get a dollar for dollar match at the end of your first year, only from Discover. Some hesitate when faced with a decision, but not you. Introducing the 2022 Telluride Nightfall Edition. This is your home. This is your family room slash gym. The guest bedroom slash music studio. The day bed slash dog bed. The living room slash yoga shanti slash regional office slash classroom. And this is the basement slash panic room. Maybe what your family needs is a vacation home slash vacation home. Find yours on the Verbo app. 
Low iron levels were making me so tired. When I tried Blood Builder by Megafood, I felt a big difference. It's gentle on my stomach, and I don't get the usual side effects. It combines key nutrients with real food. If you're struggling with low energy, you have to try it. Hi, my name is Jasmine, and a little thing I love about the Chick-fil-A Grilled Chicken Club is the wonderfully marinated and juicy chicken breast. The marinade actually reminds me of my mother's cooking. You know, marinades, usually they take time, and you can tell that it was put together with love. My name is Meredith, and a little thing I love about Chick-fil-A's mac and cheese is the oven-toasted cheesy top layer. If home had a flavor, it would be Chick-fil-A's mac and cheese. I'm passionate about it. <laughs> A mountain of toys to fulfill many wishes must be carried across all roads and all bridges. It's not magic that makes more holiday deliveries to homes in the U.S. than anyone else. It's the hardworking people of the United States Postal Service. Welcome back to the Edmonds Center. Great first half of basketball. Stetson 31, College of Charleston 27 at the break. I'm Evan Weston. He's Greg Turner. This was a fun one so far. We've had five lead changes. Each team has led for at least six minutes of this first half. What are your thoughts here at halftime? Well, the Hatters have done exactly what they wanted to do. A team that runs. How do you stop that? You have to make baskets and you have to get back. Transition defense has been huge. Only six fast break points for the Cougars. Put back. Only four or five points on second chance opportunities. So the Hatters are right where they want to be. The big news before tip off was that the Hatters leading scorer Rob Perry is out indefinitely due to an eligibility issue. They seem to have responded to that. We've seen so many different guys. Eleven guys have seen the floor and basically all of them have responded positively to that news. Well, it's something that just happens innately as a group, as a team. You know, when your star player goes down or it's not in the lineup, it's incumbent upon everybody to take that next step and do what that guy used to do. So somebody has to fill that role, and the Hatters are doing exactly that. Everybody's coming in and contributing. We talked about 11 players for both teams playing, 11 meaningful players on the floor for both teams. Yeah, Hatters will take a four-point lead into the locker room, but plenty more basketball still to come. We'll also have stats and highlights as we roll along here on Halftime. Stay with us. Doug. Superpowers from a spider bite. I could use some help showing the world how Liberty Mutual customizes their car insurance so they only pay for what they need. Did it work? Only pay for what you need. Liberty, 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 Liberty. Spider Man No Way Home in theaters December 17th. At BK, the Italian original chicken is back and in the two for six. Thanks to Pete Newbacher, crispy chicken, marinara sauce, and melty mozzarella. Because of him. For Pete's sake, the Italian original chicken sandwich is back in the two for six. Pete's way, way better. The new GMC Sierra now offers the most advanced and luxurious pickup in its class. And the blowout continues. It's another touchdown. What a huge play at this point in the game. Breaks the tackle. Now with Allen fighting through it. He's got space. He will score. Touchdown. Meet Tempo, the home gym with a built-in personal trainer. Tempo helps you maximize every workout with custom plans and real-time feedback on your form. Powered by 3D Vision, Tempo is the interactive technology that trains you with thousands of workouts, including strength training to cardio, yoga, boxing, and more. Get ready to discover what you're truly capable of. Tempo, find your strength. The holidays are in full swing, and you can feel the magic in the air. Especially at T-Mobile. Let's go to Diane. Can you tell us what's happening? Yeah, I got the awesome new iPhone 13 Pro and AirPods, and T-Mobile's paying for them both. Oh, and I get a free year of Apple TV Plus. Ah. 
Upgrade to the iPhone 13 Pro and AirPods both on us, only at T-Mobile. And this is for new and existing T-Mobile and Sprint customers, like me. Back to you. Uh, hey. Hello. Uh, hello? We're going to T-Mobile. A mountain of toys to fulfill many wishes Wait, must be carried across no all roads yeah, and all bridges. It's not magic that makes more holiday deliveries to homes in the U.S. than anyone else. It's the hardworking people of the United States Postal Service. I told you I was going to win. <laughs> Windows 11 takes gaming to another level. And when it comes to streaming movies, we haven't really experienced any buffering. Seeing it load up that quick, I was genuinely surprised. Hi, I'm Jeff Altier. I'm the director of athletics here at Stetson University, and I'm here to welcome you and talk to you about our HATS program. Helping a teammate succeed are the words the HATS acronym represents, but they also represent our shared purpose and our core values. At Stetson, when you join us, you're more than a number. You become a critical part of the Stetson and the Deland community. My personal roots with Stetson in the Deland community run deep. Having been a student athlete and later deciding to spend my entire professional career here. I've done this because I believe in our shared purpose, which is to create and provide an experience of a lifetime through teamwork and relationships to achieve excellence. The foundation of this purpose is our core values and our defined behaviors. Core values are really important to us. They are our fundamental beliefs. And when we bring someone new into our community, it is important that they share these beliefs and guide their actions using the core values and defined behaviors in the Stetson way. So what is the HADS program? Well, here are the five pillars, the core values and defined behaviors which make the HADS program. Our first core value is value people. And we put that in an I statement. I actively engage the campus, the local community, and alumni to increase participation and support for the Hatters. And here's the defined behaviors within that core value. Hire and retain the best staff and coaches. Actively embrace a diverse and inclusive workplace. Ensure the health and safety of our staff, coaches, and student athletes. And engage in the academic and athletic advancement of our student athletes. Our second core value is communication. And our I statement is, I build positive working relationships to develop trust and loyalty with people. Our defined behaviors in this core value are collaborate with others to create impactful solutions, share information freely, respond to all communication in a timely manner, go to the source to get accurate information, and practice active listening. Our third core value is integrity. I act with honesty, civility, respect, transparency, and personal accountability to build trust. Fourth, excellence. I am dedicated to be the very best in everything I do through preparation, discipline, and perseverance. And fifth, commitment. I foster pride, passion, and loyalty in support of the Stetson Hatters and our traditions. You know, Stetson Athletics is striving always to evolve, to clarify, enhance, and empower a sustainable culture for the individuals within the department in each sports program, fulfilling our goals while supporting the core values. In conclusion, we want to welcome you to your new home with the Stetson Hatters. And we are grateful that you are here and we look forward to working with you to create and provide an experience of a lifetime through teamwork and relationships to achieve excellence. Go Hatters. When Subway open, they change the fast food game. But sometimes you gotta refresh to be fresh.
Welcome to the Eat Fresh Refresh, where there's so much new, some say you can't fit in one ad. I say we're talking a new All-American Club, deli-style oven roasted turkey, and... Oh, that's a new steak and cheese. Oh, yeah, I knew that. That's the one with the new seasoning. And that was the new MVP Parmesan vinaigrette. Right, which makes the next level foot... Hold up, the subway logo? Wait, I'm out of time. As a professional bull rider, I'm used to taking chances. But when it comes to my insurance, I don't. I use Liberty Mutual. They customize your car insurance so you only pay for what you need. And by switching, you can even save $665. Hey, Tex, did someone else get a turn? Yeah, hang on, I'm about to break my own record. Yeah! Only pay for what you need. Liberty, 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 Liberty. What a wonderful day. All the luck in the world for me. That's the way I do it. Nothing to it. Wonderful day. What's my safe flight story? I spent a lot of time in my truck. It's my livelihood. So I'm not taking any chances when something happens to it. So when my windshield cracked, my friend recommended Safe Flight Auto Glass. It came right to me with expert service where I needed it. That's service I can trust, no matter what I'm hauling. Right, girl? Safe flight repair, safe flight replace. My helpers abound. I'll need you today. Our sleigh is now ready. Let's get on our way. A mountain of toys to fulfill many wishes must be carried across all roads and all bridges. And when everyone is smiling and having their fun, I can turn my sleigh north because my job here is done. It's not magic that makes more holiday deliveries to homes in the U.S. than anyone else. It's the hardworking people of the United States Postal Service. This is your home. This is your family room slash gym. The guest bedroom slash music studio. The day bed slash dog bed. The living room slash yoga shanti slash regional office. How did you guys do it? slash classroom. And this is the basement slash panic room. Maybe what your family needs is a vacation home slash vacation home. Find yours on the Verbo app. And the blowout continues. Breaks the tackle now with Allen. He will score. Touchdown. Let's take a look at some of the stats. Stetson up 31-27 at the break. And the big number for Charleston right now is probably that three-point field goal percentage. Two out of 13. They make nine and a half a game, Greg. Is that what's keeping them behind? Or is there something? What, what is Stetson doing to keep them from having the night that they would normally have behind the line? Well, the headers are contesting. They're contesting every shot. You often hear me say, you know, when there's very little or no contest, it often yields the shooter's best, but they are contesting. You're talking about two of the best three-point shooters in the country, and Rain Smith and Brendan Tucker, who's in the top 65 in the nation in the NCAA. So they have contested those guys' shot, but basketball game is two halves. Two for 13 this half. Let's see what they do the next half. Yeah, they certainly have uh, performed in second halves. This year, they've got seven wins to just three losses. Let's take a look at some of the highlights from this first half as the Hatters lead College of Charleston by four points at the break. And you see a lot of that hustle yeah. plays by the Hatters in this first half. They had four blocks in that first period. And it's been by committee. You know, you've had everyone step up on the defensive end, and then Chase Johnson doing what he does best. And the big fella, bang out, Mr. Mamadou Jawara, who knows exactly what to do with it at point blank range. But the success that the Cougars have had it has been inside the paint. Back underway here, start of the second half. Can Charleston extend that success beyond the perimeter? 
There's the first play of the first half, and Christian Jones, who had 10 points to lead all scorers in the first 20 minutes, creates a turnover. The only guy in the gym in double figures and playing on the other end as well. You saw there coming up with a big turnover for the Hatters. Jones, Swenson, Johnston, Tumblin, Jawara. And with this lineup that the Cougars have, you, there is no major shot blocker. You know, you don't have Ossie Smart. You don't have Lampton in there. You don't have five. And there's Jones picking up right where he left off. Hatters have their largest lead of the night at seven points. Jones has 13. And here's the 2 2 1 4 court press. Stolen away by Jones. Jones to Johnston. Pulls up for three. Off the back iron. Tumbling over the offensive rebound. Man rebound. Johnston wants it again. He won't miss this time. This time he set the feet. Last time he was kind of moving forward. That momentum. Scoreboard's got an extra two for the. Oh, check that. No, they do not. That is 39-27. Did I miss wow. one? I don't like to do math in public, <laughs> but we'll find out. All right, we'll check on that know. during the break. Whatever <laughs> it is, the Hatters have a double-digit lead. Exactly. Jones and Johnston going off for Stetson. Inside us all is an athlete. On the field, the gym, the track, the court. At any age, any activity, injuries happen. If pain is keeping you from being active, turn to Florida Orthopedic Associates. We offer same or next day appointments and walk-in ortho clinics in Orange City and Lake Mary. Using the latest technology and minimally invasive procedures, our experts are uniquely qualified to get you back in the game. For more than 50 years, we have provided orthopedic care in our community. Florida Orthopedic Associates is proud to be the team physicians for Stetson University and other local athletic teams. to make selling your home easier and safer than ever. Simply contact a Watson Realtor to discuss your goals and determine your home's value. Then we'll market to ideal buyers and arrange for tours that match everyone's comfort level. Best of all, though we've adapted our methods to a new environment, we still offer legendary service and get your home sold. Sell the Watson way. Be sure to download the Hatter Rewards app and scan the QR code as part of our virtual check-in. You'll get rewarded for simply watching the game. It's free and available on Google Play or the Apple App Store. Check in at events, get points, and get rewarded. For more information, visit the Fan Zone section of GoHatters.com. Hatters on a 12-0 run going back to the last two minutes of the first half. We figured out what we missed. Yes. So the Hatters are, in fact, up by 12. Johnston and Jones with all eight Hatter points since halftime. And another missed three from the Cougars. And again, that's not the guy you want taking it. Raquan Horton, who is, even though you may be a good shooter, now you have to pay attention to how you're shooting with the stats. They're saying that you're shooting 14%. There's a reason why. Johnston is kind of leaning on that yeah, one. Yeah, not, not, we're talking about having your feet set to shoot the basketball. Johnston strips it out of the hands of Horton. That should go the other way, and it does. Yeah. I think Horton was looking up for a foul, and he yeah. didn't get it. And he touched the basketball oh, again. Right. So, so Chase Pat had a good Pat hand. Kelsey doesn't understand, but I think he, he thinks there was a foul. I don't know. It looked like all ball from here. 
And the referees did not seem to think there was anything untoward from Chase Johnston there. So it's been all hatters since the break and really before the break. Coach Kelsey came out on the floor about five feet and was looking for an explanation, but the officials are like, let's play. Now the Hatters are kind of playing the game at their pace. They're not letting Charleston get into that speed that they like to play with. Jones a three. That's off the back iron. Tumbling was out there, but it's picked up by Famir Ali. Good defensive series by the Cougars. Swenson swipes it away from Ali. Hatters have a break. Up to Tumbling. Oh, bang out. it down. <laughs> That's what that young man does best. He was in the air for a good second and a half before he even caught the ball. Floated through the air. Great recognition and a great execution of a three-on-one break. And Ali draws the foul on Stefan Swenson. The blocking foul on the Hatter point guard. Let's See this again. Hey, you got options. He can pass that thing like Stockton. And there it is, Mr. Humblin finishing the play. Christian Jones had a three-on-one. He made the right decision. To shame his name is Tumblin because he does not bumble or stumble. <laughs> the only thing he tumbles is the ball inside the basketboard That's right. because he is a high flyer. So Swenson wants that spot on the floor checked where he lost his footing, and that's why he said he picked up that blocking foul instead of drawing a charge. Now Ali will inbound for Charleston, who have not scored in five minutes of game time. It is a 14-0 run for Stetson. Lampton's got a step, and Tomlin fouls him rather than give up the clean dunk. And that's a good foul because Mr. Charles Lampton is a 50% free throw shooter. Take a look at it here. Out of bounds play. Just lost track of where Lampton was. Didn't, didn't think the big fella was going to take it to the basket, but he says, hey, I'm going to have a straight beeline and try to go up and punch it, but Hatters with the foul. Lampton, 6'11 junior from Roanoke, Texas. Uh, Byron Nelson High School. Yep, that's the Greater Metro, Dallas-Fort Worth area. This is the first free throw. He's now 7 for 15 this season from the line. Nice touch. He has a nice looking touch. Makes a second for his first point, and that ends that 5-0-3 scoreless run for Charleston. Mr. Lampton, originally from Cameroon, Africa. Oh, uh, yeah. That's on Jawara, his second. Yeah, I think you can ill afford to have Jawara pick up a third foul, but you take a look at it here. And I don't even think that was really a foul. He was moving. He set the pick. He set the screen, and he was moving towards the basket. A tough break there for Mo. Yep, the Cougars. See if they go at him here. Yep, they're going into Lampton. Backing down Jawara, oh. but he gives him no room. Now Ali floats one up in traffic. It's no good, and that was last touch by the Cougars. Why is Charleston having so much trouble executing their offense right now? You know, because it's a half-court offense, and they're used to pushing the pace so much, and they're used to making baskets. Now that the Hatters have shut them down and have kind of slowed them down, now with that continuity that they're missing because you have so many different players in the game, so now you don't have Underwood in the game, a guy that can run the plays for you. You don't have Brendan Tucker in the game. No, so Tucker, not on the floor, yep. Yep, so that's why you're, you're in a situation where you're having some difficulties in running a set play. Hatters, meanwhile, are cruising here. Eight to shoot, Swenson. Pick and roll with Jawara. Swenson nice. all by himself. Yes, and that's exactly what he needed to do because there was no switching. Horton fought over the screens. So when a guy fights over the screen, that means he's trailing you. He's on your hip. So you take it straight to the basket. Ali, good pass and a great cut from Horton. Nice, First nice field look. goal of the second half for Charleston. And whistles blow. Going to take us to a timeout on the floor as I think we got a little bit more of a wet surface. That'll get us to a break.
Great start to the second half for Stetson. Charleston, though, showing signs of life. Can the Cougars get back in this one? We can't help you with your passion for ceramics or macrame or wood carving, but we can provide you with relevant insights, focused guidance, and investing knowledge to help you shape the retirement you want. At T. Rowe Price, we know retirement, not crafting. Get insights for retirement investing today at trowprice.com. And the blowout continues. It's another touchdown. What a huge play at this point in the game. the tackle now with Allen fighting through and he's got space he will score touchdown critics are blown away you've outdone yourself Peter Spider-Man No Way Home is the best Marvel movie of all time who's coming with me you'll lose your mind well I'm in exclusively in movie theaters read to PG-13 this is your living room slash yoga shanti slash regional office slash and this is the basement slash panic room maybe what your family needs is a vacation home slash vacation home find yours on the verbo app whoa every week millions of fantasy football players need to be confident they're making the right decision what's up with cd lamb how does espn help them make smarter trades and set the right lineup does this look bad i don't know i'm not that kind of doctor ibm watson by analyzing everything from player stats to expert opinions, Watson cuts through the noise to deliver game-changing insights. Boomer Bust says C.D. Lamb is going to boom. To keep ESPN at the top of the fantasy sports world. He's good. What can Watson do for your business? Welcome back to the Edmonds Center. 15.39 to go in the second half. And the Stetson Hatters playing very good basketball right now. Their star player, Rob Perry, out indefinitely due to an eligibility issue. And yet, Stetson starts this second half rolling on a 12-3 run to open up a 13-point lead on Charleston. Evan West and Greg Turner here from the Edmonds Center. We've got a touch foul here by Brendan Tucker reaching in on Swenson. We talked about on Tucker. We talked about Evan, excuse me, but we talked about hand, you know, it was a lot of hand, you know, on the defender, on the defender putting it on the offensive player. In college basketball, you're not supposed to be able to put a hand on an individual. Except in the post, you can put a forearm, but but there's been a lot of grabbing, so the officials called that particular play there. Swenson yanks it out now to Tumblin in the corner. Alvin Tumblin misses the three. He is yet to make one as a college player. Now 0 for 3. And then Smart draws a foul, crashing the glass after the miss by 5. That's going to be on Jawara. Going to see Josh Smith come in. That is his third. One of the few breaks for the Cougars. And there's Babakar Fai laying it up and missing it. And there's the big fella, Ossie Smart. Couldn't get it to go down, and why? Because Jawara uh, hit him on his arm. So, Coach Jones is going to have to shuffle these minutes and um, really kind of play his cards close to the vest here, because you're going to have to take Jawara out. He has three. It's too early. It's 15, 15 minutes left in his basketball game, so he has to come out. Smart, not a good free throw shooter. He misses. They've been kind of picking on the Charleston big guys. They're four for eight from the line here. And other than the one technical free throw by Tucker, they have all been shot by uh, less than stellar free throw shooters. Smart does make the second. The free throw shooting is, no matter how you look at it, man, it's, it's not going away. It's part of the basketball game. And if you're a basketball player, it would behoove you to get better. And it's not like those guys don't practice. 
but you have to have that confidence and there's something about your routine. So it is Smith playing the five, Beautiful. and Josh Smith having his best game in over a month here. Nice two-man game, and Chase Johnson, a nice bounce pass. Nine points for Smith. And Chase is showing you that, hey, I'm more than just a shooter. I can make some plays and create for my teammates. Burnham floats it in. Yep, Burnham did not rush. Everybody yelled, you're wide open. He says, I know where I am on the basketball <laughs> floor. He turned around and had a nice mid-range, which is a difficult shot. Johnston in and out. Jones hauls in the offensive rebound. Chases went in and out. Lobs it down to Smith. He's got two on him. Now it's just him and five. Kicks out Jones of three. Christian misses the triple. Jones has tried nine threes tonight. It's far more than you usually see from him. Made three of them. Now Tucker out of the corner. His average starting to come back down to earth a little bit tonight. Charleston now two of 16 from beyond the arc. Yeah, that's been their Achilles heel tonight. And credit to Hatters who have not given a lot of open looks to them. Uh, they've been running at the shooters. And I want to see the Hatters make a nice offensive set here. This would be quite the scout for Stetson. Charleston ranked at 118 in the net. It's a very good basketball team that they're currently handling. Smith off the glass, no good. It's tough not to come away with points on that possession. There's two shots right there that young people have to make. Both of those, Chase Johnson, Johnston should have been off the glass. And right there, Josh Smith put it off the glass, but just not in the square. Picked off by Jones. Charleston just looks completely yeah. out of sorts on offense. Yeah. And that was just unforced error. You can't throw through a defender. You have to throw under or over. And the Hatters are going to have to try to take advantage of these unforced errors. Mobbed into Smith. Nice there you patience go. by Jai Smith, and he's in double figures with 11. Tucker going right at Smith. Tucker forced wide by Josh Smith, and he misses the shot. Yeah. And then a foul on the Cougars. And that's a that's a tough shot that Brendan Tucker tried to make. He tried to force the issue and didn't come up with it. And there's the foul, frustration foul by Brendan Tucker, and he's thinking, man, I should have made that layup. Charleston, two of eight from the field with four turnovers in the second half. And you know that's that's not good when you got more turnovers than you have made baskets in a half. So it's, you know, Coach Kelsey is, is looking for an answer. You Now you miss John Meeks. You know, that's that veteran guy that you really miss out on the floor. And we haven't seen uh, Underwood is back out there now. Ali is guarding Jones here. Underwood's got Johnston. That's poked out by Ali. It'll stay with the Hatters with nine to shoot. Well, Chase had a smaller defender on him. I mean, Ali, he had him down on the block. Turn around and shoot over. So going to Valdez. Not a lot of time on the shot clock. Valdez accelerates. Threw it away. He had seven seconds. That's a lot of time. Underwood will take the easy two. His first two points of the game for Demetrius Underwood. Grad uh, transfer from Mesquite, Texas. Our high school coach, Ernest Washington, always said, know the time and the score. And this is the shot clock as well. You had seven seconds, so you had some time. But credit the Cougars. Coming up with a turnover and turning it into points. Johnston just takes it. <laughs> he almost got away with that. Not a good look. No. Now Underwood penetrating. This time runs into a wall of white jerseys. Ali misses the three. If Charleston could just get one of those to go, yeah. maybe that changes this ball game. But they are two for 17. They have missed 12 in a row. They're going to timeout on the floor on the other end. Hatters by a dozen, 11-24 to play here at the Edmund Center. At the College of Charleston, when classes end and the books close, when the streetlights turn on and everyone else is heading home, 
we are just catching our second wind. Because when the world rests, we roll up our sleeves. We are seekers, doers, and change agents, creators and explorers. This is our city. This is our school. This place is for you. Stetson in good shape in front of their home fans, up 47-35 over the College of Charleston. Cougars trying to fight their way back into the game, but they have struggled, particularly since halftime. Three of ten from the floor with five turnovers since the break. Come out of the timeout off the Famir Ali foul. So find Swenson in, down into Christian Jones, who's got 13 points to lead all scorers tonight. And Rain Smith, the touted freshman lefty from Australia, has just not been able to find anything going. One out of five from three. There's a turnover by the Hatters. Underwood will clean it up for Charleston. Let's see if they can get it to Smith here. He drives, loses the handle, and it sets him ball. Another sloppy giveaway by the Cougars, who has now as many turnovers in the second half as they did the entire first half, Brett. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's just not what Coach Kelsey has drawn up. And, and the team is still searching for answers, but they are continuing to play hard. The Hatters, it's incumbent upon them to take advantage of these opportunities and these unforced errors and turnovers. Tazos Cook has come into the game for Johnston. Here he is, the freshman from Westerville, Ohio. Wide open, you gotta give it to him. Cook, look right at Josh Smith. Swenson driving. Swenson chucks it to the corner. Cook drives. Now it's Jones, has to shoot it. He drills it. And he bailed his teammates out. <laughs> Christian that's a, Jones. That's a two for Jones. That possession almost broke down three or four times. Burnham misses the floater. Not a bad look. But it's just not falling right yeah. now for Charleston, even on the rare occasion when they are getting a good look at the basket. Yeah, the basket has a lid on it. <laughs> and they've just been unable to take it off. But they're continuing to play hard. And a couple of possessions, they're down by 14, but it's still a lot of time left. Smith loses his footing, but keeps the Hatters in possession without traveling. A baseball pass from Swenson. Ends up with Jones, misses, put back no good, rips the ball down again. It's a held ball, it'll stay with Stetson. And these little hustle plays have been so big the entire night for the Hatters. Christian Jones ticking it to the basket, but again, he's looking at the defenders. Don't look at the defenders, go up strong. I and mean, he gets his offensive rebound, he fights for it. And credit the effort and the second, third effort by Christian Jones. But the Hatters are going to take a look at Donnie Jones. It's, they are going to have to be able to score in a set, a half-court offense here. And this game is still within reach with a team like College of Charleston, who's used to just running and pushing the pace and makes a miss. It doesn't bother them. You know, they, they want the possession. If the Hatters do not convert on some of these half-court sets, it's going to be a closer game than it appears on the scoreboard. Swenson lobs it into Weza Panzo. Hatters back at it. And again, Swenson has been marshalling this 
attack for most of the night. Trying to slow things down, give the Cougars as few possessions as possible. But it's given away. Good ambitious, pass. Ambitious pass. Yeah, a good pass, but you got to grab it with two hands. Horton. Out to Smith. He'll get another try. Yes. That one drops. You don't give a shooter like that that much room and that many more opportunities. I mean, they have ran him off the line and contested his shot, but credit Requan Horton for finding him. It's his first attempt of the second half, and it goes in. Now the Cougars within 11. Still tons of time left in this ball game. Panzo, he'll trigger it. There Response you go. from Wes of Panzo. Nobody beats the Wes when he gets his feet set, Evan. He can knock it down. That's his sweet best. spot, too, right it there is. on the wing. It is. Good call, Evan. Underwood kicks out Horton. Now they get it to Smith. In and out this time. Wow, Christian Jones got away with a push off in the back. Hatter's got and, away with leaving Rain Smith and, open again. And Coach Kelsey's on the floor following the official up the floor. Said he pushed him in the back. Hatter lead back out to 14. Jones working on Tucker. Forced out with 10 to shoot. And Christian Jones is your go-to guy with Rob Perry not in the lineup for the Hatters. Oh, beautiful pass. Cook a three, air ball. You got to bring Chase Johnston back in and Cook. Tasso, he, Cook was too wide open. He's thinking about it. Tumbling and Johnston come Look back Look at that in. beautiful pass, wow. man. Behind the back. It's often, you often but miss Cook, pass first point guard. Sorry, yeah. Greg, but, but Swenson again, six assists tonight. He's yeah. averaging five now, assists a game for the year. Now that right there, you can't teach that. What, no. he, what he just did, that's from... Playing in the gym, playing, 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 and Cook, you know, he's just indecisive. When he takes, you know, he takes it to the basket when he should be shooting, and then he shoots it when he should take it to the basket. That was one time where just he was wide open, he could have taken it to the basket. A young man's got to get his confidence going. Hatters are back in that zone. It's kind of a matchup zone defense. Ali to Underwood, there's Tumblin with the block and then a foul as they get a little enthusiastic on the offensive rebound, climbing all over the back of Underwood. The foul will go on Smith. There's the activity of Tumblin coming from the back. Tumblin and the Hatters up big. Eight minutes to play. We can't help you perfect your pie crust or bake the world's greatest banana bread, but we can help you find the sweet spot between your everyday expenses and your retirement goals. With our guidance and insights, we'll help you put together a recipe for the retirement you want. At T. Rowe Price, we know retirement, not baking. Explore your options with our financial consultants today at tropeprice.com. And the blowout continues. It's another touchdown. What a huge play at this point in the game. Breaks the tackle. Now with Allen fighting through it. He's got space. He will score. Touchdown. I told you I was going to win. With Windows 11, gaming performs to another level. Let's go! And when it comes to streaming movies, we haven't really experienced any buffering. It's so cool that we'll have access to movie theater level quality pretty much anywhere. Seeing it load up that quick, I was genuinely surprised. I can't believe there's no lag. I didn't realize how bad you were until I got these really good graphics. <laughs> Christian Jones, 15 points, eight rebounds, also two steals on the night. Stepping in for the absent Rod Perry, who is indefinitely ineligible. 
not just Jones. Josh Smith with 11 and 7. Stephon Swenson, 6 assists. Chase Johnson has chipped in a couple of big threes. And on the defensive end, the Hatters have just made life miserable for the Charleston Cougars. Yeah, I mean, Christian Jones, I mean, he has done a lot for the team, and he has been that go-to guy. And his basketball is a team game. But there's going to be a time in a basketball game, first half, second half, where you're going to need someone to step up and make a play for your team. He's that guy for the Hatters. Underwood, 79% free throw shooter. And he makes both. They had to have those. Cougars within yes. 12. Hatters have had a double-digit lead since about the 19-minute mark. They've just kind of maintained it, nursed it. And they hold on a little longer. Tumbling keeps his feet in play, but Smith bobbles the basketball. Now a break with numbers for the Cougars. Tucker steps into a three. Wedgie. Ah, but they get the basketball. They do. The arrows <laughs> pointed that way. You hate that possession arrow. Sometimes you love it. It's your best friend. This time for the Cougars, it was their best friend. And that's uh, not a good-looking shot for a guy that's one of the top three-point shooters well, in the NCAA. He's not anymore because he came in at 21 of 39 and is 0 for 4 tonight, so his percentage is dipped below 50. I mean, it's still pretty good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we yes. take a lot of misses for it to not be good. He is right. a very, very good shooter. But we've seen that. I mean, we just saw an air ball by Cook. Tucker, well, that's what he can do well, too. Yeah. Gets it inside and lays it in. He's got 10 points tonight, even without a three. But Josh Smith, you got to do one or two things there. You got to block that shot or you got to take the charge. You just can't go straight up. You got to contest that. You are the big guy for the Hatters right now. You are the center. Jawara getting ready to check back in with three fouls. Oh, Tucker strips it away from Tumbling. Can't dribble through a team, a good defensive team like this. Uh, Donnie Jones got to get a timeout here. The lead is down to seven. Jones waits for Swenson across the timeline and calls timeout. 52-45. Stetson ahead of Charleston. And, and we take a look at it here. They're pushing the pace. And Chase Johnston bagged off. And Ali knocked down the three, and he's giving you some words and let you know about it, too. But I talked about it just a few minutes ago. If the Hatters they had a 14-point lead, I said, if you don't convert on some of these half-court sets, that lead is going to dissipate. And that is exactly what has happened. I mean, this is a team, remember, they're talking about 82 possessions. And last check, they had 54 possessions, 55 possessions. And it's still six minutes left, so they're still on pace. They're a little behind pace, but this is a team that's used to, hey, missing makes, it doesn't matter. They want to push the pace and get more opportunities. Number one in the country coming in in adjusted tempo for Ken Palm. They absolutely fly. They've been limited tonight, but now finally getting a groove back. With a quick 7-0 burst in nearly less than a minute. Yeah, the Hatters are going to have to score here on their sets. That's the only way they're going to be able to hold the Cougars at bay and give the Cougars some credit. They've ratcheted up their defense. Swenson on the deck, kicks out, offensive yep. foul. He did everything right but jump up in the air. Had he been able to make that bounce and make that pass, but when he jumped up in the air. He had that one opportunity to bounce it, didn't he, watching that. He exactly. said it, and I said, oh, it was right there. Exactly. I mean, youngsters on the college level, they are coached too well. You know, when you jump in the air, they're going to they're gonna draw that charge. And most teams keep track of charges and blocks and all of that, so he's going to have a star, <laughs> Raquan Horton by his name for that particular play. He's had a good night, 10 points. Big boost off the bench for Charleston to keep them in this. Now Tucker, corner three. That's too strong. Rebounded by Horton, and he draws the foul. Christian Rachel. Jones missed timing his jump. 
another opportunity that the Hatters, you play good defense, you got to come away with that rebound. You cannot miss time your jump. And credit Raquan Horton for being all over the basketball floor. Four fouls on Jawara. Horton now five of nine from the line this year, having comfortably his best game as a Charleston Cougar tonight. From Santee, South Carolina, and I know people may be wondering where is that? It's right there, smack in the middle of Columbia and Charleston. About an hour either way from those places. He gets both free throws, and suddenly what had been a 12 to 15 point game most of the second half is a five point Hatter lead. 9 0 Charleston run. And a five point lead is like one point <laughs> against the College of Charleston. Well, they can make it up in a blink of an eye, can't yes, they? Yes. Swenson to Jones. Jones pulls up for a jumper, in and out. Jawara with a big rebound, hurls it in the air. Smith commits the foul as he catches it. Got to make that great offensive rebound by Jawara. You got to take your time and go up with your jump hook and make it. Had her scoreless in the last three minutes, Greg. Right there, he just lost the ball. Got to get two hands and go up with that one and go up with that jump hook and make it. And Josh Smith again hustling, but over the back. And now the Hatters, they're in the bonus situation. Coach Jones is pleading his case, saying Jawara got fouled. Well, Donnie Jones spending a lot of time with the official there. And as a team, this is a one and one for Underwood. It's a loose ball foul, not an offensive foul, so he gets to take the free throws. And the Cougars are a very good shooting free throw uh, uh, shooting team, 75%. Yeah, their best free throw shooters had been the ones that were not on the line earlier, but Underwood is one of them. He's now four out of four. And they make almost 16 free throws a game. That's one yeah. of the highest rates in the country. Yeah. And that's because of those possessions, the number of possessions. Yeah, right, exactly. Have. But also the high percentage they shoot him at. This will stay with the Hatters, but Stetson right now, when they were just cruising on offense, and now has been the team to lose their way a little bit. Yeah. Just That's like that, a 3.30 scoreless run for the Hatters, and Charleston taking a 14-point game to a one-possession game. And the Hatters are 14 turnovers, taking care of the basketball, but a lot of hand-checking going on, a lot of hand-checking going John on. John Stan counted and a foul! They had to have that one. And what happens if a team overplays you defensively? Chase Johnson did exactly what you're supposed to do. Take the ball to the basket. And he has a smaller defender on him as well. Nice take. And not only did he take it, he avoided the charge and used his left hand. Youngsters out there watching. You got to be able to use both hands when you're around the basket. Now Chase Johnson was one for three from the free throw line in that first half when he got fouled on a three-point shot. And misses the misses free throw. That. Johnston is one of four from the line. But it does get the lead back to two possessions. Just a quick shot. It looks like he's just not taking his time. And now let's see if the Cougars can run their offensive set. Ali. Well, Ali, it looks like he's about to travel every time he takes the basketball. Tucker spinning through the lane, falls off the cup, and then a foul on Stetson as it came down. That'll be a one-and-one -one opportunity. And it's Jawara with his fifth foul. He is done. Mohamedou Jawara fouls out fairly rapidly in the and, second half. And that really should have been a foul by Rec one Horton, as you saw him rooting Josh Smith out of the way. But here's another thing you have to think about. We mentioned it in that first half, that technical foul. That's a foul. That technical foul that he got for hanging on yep. the basket. It's a big one. Yep. So that would have been his fourth foul so instead. His fifth. Aubin Gattarizzi will get his first minutes of this second half in a crunch time situation. The missed free throw on the front end by Charleston, so they come up empty on that trip. Yes, and Gattarizzi is going to have to play big. In other words, he's going to have to be a presence on the defensive end. 
offensive end. He's going to have to set some picks, score some putbacks when he can. Jones goes to the ground. Burnham's all over him, and that'll at least switch the arrow back the other way. Hatters yeah. will hold on to it. And Christian Jones just off balance, trying to do a little bit too much. Bubba Carr five checks back in for Horton, who has given Pat Kelsey a yeah. terrific shift tonight. He's played his best collegiate game. Easily. Yes. And, and he's an energy guy. He has, in fact, scored more points tonight, 12, than he did in his first 10 games combined, 11. That's, that's saying something there. So you were right. He doubled his points per game in one game. Got four seconds. Got to get it up. John Steen. Wow. wow. Boy, that's at the jump ball circle. Chase Johnston from Jacksonville. <laughs> oh, chase me. <laughs> chase Johnston. Johnston, I mean, that is only a shooter can make that shot. That is sensational. And what a time for it to get the Hatters back up by eight. I mean, take your pick. Uh, 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 Damian Lillard, Stephon Curry, <laughs> whoever. Well, that, uh, Steph Curry set the all-time NBA record for threes this week at MSG. You know who holds the all-time high, high school, school record for threes? Who else? Chase Johnston. Take a look at it here. Boy, almost from the jump bar circle. Chase Johnston. Big finish coming up here in the land. I just got my cash back match. Is this for real? Yep. We match all the cash back new card members earn at the end of their first year. Automatically. Woo, I got my money. Sorry to contain yourself, isn't it? Uh-huh. Well, let it go. Woo. Get a dollar for dollar match at the end of your first year, only from Discover. Meet Tempo, the home gym with a built-in personal Little trainer. Respect. Tempo helps you maximize every workout with custom plans and real-time feedback on your form. Get ready to discover what you're truly capable of. Tempo, find your strength. Target makes last-minute gifting easier. Shop with same-day delivery, free order pickup, or free drive-up, and leave with your list wrapped up. Order today, get it today at Target. Mitsubishi Outlander. Unwrap our lowest price at the year-end sales event. Get Thunderstruck. At BK, the Italian original chicken is back and in the two for six. Thanks to Pete Newbacher. Crispy chicken, marinara sauce, and melty mozzarella. Because of him. For Pete's sake, the Italian original chicken sandwich is back in the two for six. Pete's way, way better. The holidays are in full swing and you can feel the magic in the air. Especially at T-Mobile. Let's go to Diane. Can you tell us what's happening? Yeah, I got the awesome new iPhone 13 Pro and AirPods and T-Mobile's paying for them both. Oh, and I get a free year of Apple TV Plus. <laughs> Upgrade to the iPhone 13 Pro and AirPods both on us, only at T-Mobile. And this is for new and existing T-Mobile and Sprint customers. Like me. Back to you. Uh, hey. Hello. Uh, hello? We're going to T-Mobile. Pep band rocking out, and they've got to have a little extra pep after Chase Johnston hits. Had to be at least a 30 footer to get the Hatters up by eight. Charleston had cut their lead down from 14 to three, but the Hatters have pushed it back out. Now, can they hang on with 3.39 to go? Here it is again. Boy, that is from a long way away. Mr. Johnston said, Chase me, Chase Johnston. Big time three. Burnham, air ball at the end of the shot clock. The Hatters will just take the ball out as Johnson collected the rebound. Good recognition by that young man, even though it didn't draw any eye, but he knew he had to get it up, give his team a chance. So now you're going to look at some doubling. You're going to slow the pace down, and, and you're going to see some run and jump by the Cougars. And that means when a defender turns his back like that, you'll see a double team. Jones, corner three, no good. That might have iced it right there if it big had gone time, down. Big but time a big rebound. offensive rebound. You're right by Smith. 
Now Jones shakes off his man, Beautiful. kisses it off the glass. Yes, we talked about that earlier. You gotta make that shot at this level. New season high, 17, and then get a Ritzi with a big time block. Underwood misses, and they finally poke it in. Gattarizzi hobbled a little bit after the contact. And boy, Underwood is showing you why he's a leading rebounder at six foot four, keeping that basketball alive. He missed it. And boy, there's a hard fall on the tailbone. By... Boy, there was some contact going on in there. And I even thought I saw a player touch the rim. Uh, but the officials, there's so much action going on. Giving the bucket to Burnham. Underwood. And he's going to feel that tomorrow morning oh, <laughs> yes. for sure. And apparently, Jawara has Jawara come did back not in out. the game. They've wow. taken a foul off of Muhammadu Jawara. Wow. And I mean, he's back in the game with four fouls. And everybody in the gym is looking just like we're looking. Wow, how did he get able so to come back So I don't know when in? they determined that. Yeah. Because he came out as if he'd fouled out, and now he's back in. Okay. Well, certainly a good break for the Hatters, yeah. and then he draws a foul on Burnham. And a good post up. And Swenson looks like he was fighting the basketball. Ordinarily a nice move handler of the basketball. That time he couldn't look like he just couldn't get it to up cooperate, but there is the foul by Ben Burnham, the 6'7 freshman from Fort Mill, South Carolina. Jones off the inbound. Man to man on the inbound <laughs> pass. Greg, <laughs> I'm listening. I'm paying attention. <laughs> oh, Evan. Smith foul oh. on the three, and Jones, Jones makes a great, with himself. Great play, and then he comes back and makes a bad play, a play that us fifth-year senior a graduate students should not make. Yes, you cannot foul the jump shooter 30 feet from the basket. Everything is in your favor, the time. The score, the lead, double-digit lead. Now it could possibly be an eight-point lead. Because Rain is a very good free-throw shooter. As Terrific a matter of fact, one, yeah. 91% coming into this game. Okay, he's only missed two all season. They've held him in check. He's only two of seven from three. And now there's his third free-throw miss of the year. Smith gathers the rebound. So just eight points for Rain Smith, who averages 14 a game. Had her lead is eight with two minutes to go. Swenson trapped yeah. right up against our table. And I think they're going to call a timeout. Or, yeah, yeah, they're pointing at Donnie Jones. Timeout. It is going to be a timeout. He almost traveled before the timeout, and that's what the coaching staff for Color to Charleston was saying. But coming over here, I told you, you will see some running jumps, and, some, and, and a running jump means... When you get an offensive player moving one way and then he turns his back, a defender will come up and jump him and forcing a turnover right there. The Cougars almost got it. So if you want to set the stage for us, uh, Evan, I mean, two oh, minutes. This is it, right? 159 yes. to go, eight point game. It is Stetson Ball with 20 to shoot. And the Hatters and have led for most of this game, including the entire second half, last Charleston lead was at 5.05 in the first. So, and, 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 and this would be easily the biggest win of the yes, year for the yes, Hatters if yes, they pull this be. game down. And right now, the biggest play of the game is inbound in his basketball because it has been an adventure for the Hatters here in the second half because of the tough defense by the Cougars. The three losses this year for Charleston, North Carolina, Oklahoma State and an overtime loss at Furman. That's it. I mean, it's I mean the Hatters have played some quality opponents just like my, I mean Ohio coming in here. Their only losses was Terrific to Kentucky team. and LSU. And LSU. Yep. So that's showing you the quality of opponents that the Hatters are bringing into the Edmund Center. Jones step back three off the front iron. Jawara chases it down. Tries to pull it out and it's deflected into the hands of Fi. This close to a brilliant play for the Hatters. Instead, Charleston gets their stop. Ali takes the three. And that has been the bane for Charleston tonight. Yes. Four of 24 from downtown. Ali is one out of five. 
But a good hustle play there by the young man, and he gets it to Smith, clanks it off the side of the iron. Offensive rebound, Horton, no room to operate. Just and Jawara's got it, you, and now the, you, you, you the clock the is Stetson's best friend at this point. Yep, get it into the hands of a ball handler. And Jones <laughs> draws the foul. Charleston had a foul to give. Well, I mean, the Charleston Cougars have just been the relentless. And they're getting the opportunities, but unable to convert. The basket has been unkind. They to are them shooting 31% for the game, 16% from three. And if, if you want to know the difference in the game, there it is. Yes. Right there, the Hatters have shot at around their season average. It's actually just a, a slightly above it, and Charleston is miles underwater. And Coach Jones taking Jawara out, putting Weza in because you need a good free throw shooter as well in, in this point of the game. They get it to Smith, and Burnham fouls him. And they're thinking it was a backcourt. Yeah, I but had they the touched, same thought. Yeah, they touched. He touched the basketball. The defender touched it. Yeah. And so Smith will shoot the one and one. And the coaches, you take a look at it here. See, there it is. It's touched by Burnham. And uh, the offensive player, he can go and go in the backcourt of a errant a touch. He can go back and recover the basketball. Josh does not shoot a ton of free throws. You'd expect him to take more, but he's eight of nine on the year, including one of one tonight, and he makes that one beautifully. Well, you go. We expect him to make it. He's from Indiana. He's a Hoosier. <laughs> he's a good free throw shooter last year. Yes. They actually. Expect his jump shot to come along a little bit more as well. It's a weapon that he's got. We haven't seen him using games too much. I just call yeah, a lane call violation on the Hatters. There's a little chicken there with Raquan Horton. He kind of acted as if he was going to step in, and then Chase stepped in, and he got caught. So take away that free throw, take it off the books. Nine point game. Donnie Jones can't believe it, but. Yeah, he's not thrilled with that. <laughs> Ali step back three and again they just can't buy one a foul on the floor and they're going to give that foul to Stetson on uh, Swenson I believe they are it, so two we, free throws here for Charleston but again they can't buy that three now it's about making threes and rebounding the basketball and there's a lot of contact going on but I didn't see that you saw Swenson kind of rooting, backing up, and maybe that's where the, the foul was called. Burnham shooting two, 12 of 18 for the season. Knocks that one through. Right now, the Hatters have to know that the press is coming. And if you're Charleston Cougars, you're looking for a turnover. You're looking to, and now they're bringing in Babakar Phi. The Bo Outlaw lookalike, he's going to come in for that energy that he brings, and he's a long defender on the inbounder. And Weza, you got to get out from underneath the backboard. And the uh, Hatters handle it, albeit not textbook, <laughs> but they got it across. We got a foul here, and Swenson will go to the line. Stefan, five of seven shooting free throws this year. And he was a good free throw shooter last year, so. It looks good for him. And you want your primary ball handler to be a very good free throw shooter. You see Swenson with that right thumb taped up, but it's a good thing he's a lefty. But. That still affects you handling the basketball. And that's why he looked a little out of sorts in front of us a few series ago because he was trying to you know, dribble with that right hand. Max the first shot. one in. And if you're a Charleston Cougars, you got to get it up fast. You got to get it up the court. And you got to find the best shot. If it's a three pointer, preferably. You take it, but if not, you need points right now. One out of two, so it's an eight point game, but not a lot of time left for Charleston. Ali, he'll take the two. He missed it. Dunk rebound is missed as well. 
And a foul as Panzo gets hit, and now it's real dire straits for Charleston. And that was because of the contest by Josh Smith. He went for it. Now, I talked about Tumbling, how he jumped, but Josh Smith is a leaper too. And you saw it. He altered that shot. Ali had to put it up harder, and Horton tried to follow up the dunk. And I know his coaches are saying, grab it and lay it up, son, but tried to make the spectacular play. And now Weza comes to the free throw line. And a tough way for Horton to end such a great game for him individually. Panzo, though, misses the first. The door is still open. Here goes Horton. Smith gets in his way. He can't get it through. Gets the next try to go. Six-point game, and Pat Kelsey wants a timeout. It's been so many loose opportunities for the Hatters to even just put this game away right there. There was a rebound that Josh Smith could not corral. And that's what Donnie Jones is talking about his team right now. Everybody to the backboard. Everybody has to rebound, and we have to be strong with the basketball. On the other side, you got the Cougars. They're saying we need a turnover. We got to get it. We got to get a turnover. It's still just a six-point game. Yeah, you probably need a steal and a three, steal and a three. If you're Charleston, or you'll hope for some missed free throws. See where Charleston's going at Old Dominion. They also play Rhode Island uh, in the D.C. Holiday Hoops Fest. And then they start conference play against Drexel on the, the, the 29th Dragons. of Drexel. December. Drexel Dragons. Uh, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. That's a, that's a formidable schedule there. Hatters will play their last D1 non-conference game in Coral Gables on Monday night. Then a couple of non-D1 tests before they start with Liberty in the A-Sun on the 4th of January. Jones is fouled. They couldn't get the steal on the inbound, so Christian Jones will shoot. And one of, one of the oldest inbound press-breaking plays there, there is that the guy is taking the ball out of bounds and another guy steps out of bounds. And sometimes you catch the, the, the team off guard, but Charleston was right there, but, but the headers had us executed it properly. Jones led all qualifying players in the A-Sun in free throw percentage last year at 84%. And he makes the first year. First 20-point game of the season for Christian Jones. And you saw that rhythm there. He, he received the basketball. He didn't just take a bounce, boom, and shoot it. You know, he's, he's taking his time, gathering himself. And like so. Big time performance for a guy you would expect to give you a big time performance. And he steals the ball from Tucker. And Christian Jones fouled. That'll just about do it. What a big game from Christian Jones. He ends this one with authority. The biggest win for the Hatters this season. One of their biggest under Donnie Jones, period. And he was one of the top thieves, if you will, in the A-Sun last year. Yeah, he comes up with steals. He has an uncanny knack to do that. He plays the passing lanes, and none, none bigger there than coming up with that steal. And now getting fouled and converting. Has played 128 straight games, Christian Jones. Says something about his durability there. We may have to start calling him Iron Man Jones. <laughs> They're going to need him to be. He was tonight. Ooh. Burnham puts oh. that in. Bang out for the big fella, Burnham. That'll end it, though. What a win for the Stetson Hatters. Oh, taking down the College of Charleston, 67-59. No Rob Perry, no problem for the Hatters tonight. Jones with 23. Johnston with 14. A double-double for Josh Smith. And the Hatters pick up their biggest win of the year. Want to thank Greg Turner. Hope you have a Merry Christmas, my friend. We'll see you on the you. other side of the break. All right. Want to thank our producer, Jeff Taylor, broadcast technicians, Robert Shaw and Jacob Gowan, our whole Stetson Broadcast Productions team. Those guys are not done yet. We still got the Hatter Classic coming up tomorrow and Sunday. My name is Evan Weston, signing off from the Edmund Center. Stetson wins it 67-59 over the College of Charleston. To watch this entire game on replay, as well as all the college basketball action on the ESPN Family Networks, go to ESPN.com, download the ESPN app, and sign up for ESPN Plus today. This has been a presentation of ESPN.